Hello everyone, it's Cherie. Welcome to my channel. This is day two in my December daily, which is the junk journal style December daily. I actually, uh, I made it myself and I just used um, papers and things like that that I had on hand. I didn't buy anything new. And it's quite big, so I may use it um, for two years instead of one. So day two was all about our tree. We went and got our Christmas tree and decorated it. And we typically get it, you know, a little earlier, but um, my husband had to work. So this was, a, this was the first day that he had off for us to go and get the tree. So um, yeah, so I have my pictures there. There's quite a few pictures that I want to use. And for my numbers, I am using um, my numbers as far as, you know, day one, day two. I'm using vintage um, numbers out of children's dictionaries, different, a bunch of different dictionaries. And I really like, um, I think I'm going to enjoy doing that. So I wanted to just stamp day above the two. And this stamp set is nothing fancy, but it's one of my favorites. And I use it pretty frequently whenever I am journaling. So, um, on the right side, you saw me go through a few linens, and the one that the photo is on now is um, one that I have in my shop in the Christmas kit, which I'll link below, and I'll link um, the shops that I use in the description below as well. So, I still wasn't quite sure what exactly I wanted to do. Um, I fiddle a lot. In this um, December daily I did not purchase anything new other than the printables so everything I'm using is stuff that I've had for quite a while so I just decided this year I did not want to buy any Christmas um, ephemera stickers anything like that to um, to decorate my pages or anything I just wanted to use what I have because I'm kind of um, going through like a clean out phase and I just kind of want to start fresh for 2020. I want to get everything squared away. So um, so this is another linen that's in my shop and I had printed it on um, cardstock so it was thicker than the other one and I decided to make a pocket out of it. And then that little book that you saw me flipping through that is an old basic gray um, journal I guess or um, little mini album book. So I'm just gonna use throughout December the pages from the book. Or as much as I can anyways, as many of the pages as I can. So I like that tag and I like that the, um, that photo fit on it just perfect. And that was our tree, obviously, before we opened it up. And, um, and these are pictures of my daughter and she helped us pick out the tree and she was so excited. She was jumping up and down so her little pigtails are kind of flowing. Now I decided to go ahead and make a journaling card out of this printable which is also in my shop. It is I am vintage diary pages for the month of December and it coincides with our year so the date and the day is the same. So I'll probably be using this as well throughout um, December and I wanted to just do a quick little collage on the back to stick her photo and then find a little spot to tuck this journaling in and on the on the card it has day one and day two so I wasn't able to print it when I worked on my day one because I had ran out of ink in my printer and it was torture. I was so antsy waiting for my ink to come in the mail. But it finally came and now I've got to catch up. Lots of catching up to do. So these are just some stickers that I have in my stash and um, little pretty little snowflake stickers. And yeah, I'm just gonna do my best to use up as much as I can. So I was thinking, I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to do anything super duper fancy. I just kind of wanted to um, 
make it work and not spend too much time on it because I do have a lot of catching up to do. So the first day, um, I, we made cookies and so I found these little stickers in my stash as well. They were vintage. I think they're from the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. Could be 80s or possibly 70s. Um, and I think they're either Sandy Lion or Mrs. Grossman stickers. And um, I wanted to put a little label down there just so I would have a little spot to journal on. And then I used the other half of that um, snowflake. And so throughout my whole process, um, you'll see a lot of things that are um, partially used from previous years. And, um, and, and I'm excited. I'm happy about it. I love using what I have. Like, it's such a good feeling, you know. And um, those things were extremely sticky. I couldn't believe how sticky they were because I've had them forever and ever. And I was like, good gravy, these things are the real deal here. So I liked how it looked. I was pretty happy with it, but I felt like maybe I should go ahead and stitch around it. So I had to get my sewing machine all set up because it was on the floor by my feet. So, yeah, so I just did a really quick little messy stitch all the way around. But I like it. I like how it turned out. So I got that all done and I tried to stick it in that little pocket um, that I made out of the linen, but it was too big. So. And then that was the other sticker that was on that sheet and I went to peel it up and it was ripping my page because I put it down crooked of course because that's what I do I stick things down crooked but I just left it because I didn't want it to you know have a big old rip spot on my page and then like I said these are printables I think that they're from tailor-made journals and I was super excited to get them and then I realized like that they weren't separate images that they were on like a PDF or um, just like a, you know, they were just collage sheets basically, which I should have read the description, so that was my fault. But um, yeah, I was really disappointed at first. And then I started to use them and I was like, oh, okay, I'm liking this. I can use these. So while we were decorating our tree, um, I ran across some old Christmas cards from my great grandmother and, um, and a bunch of other family members just like a little Ziploc bag of old Christmas cards that had been sent to my mom and um, I decided that I would go ahead and try to use some of them in my journal because I love putting um, the past in with the present just like as a look back and especially of people that have passed and um, it's I just enjoy when I do look through my journals seeing people you know because they're gone so we don't necessarily some people think of them on a regular basis so when especially our children you know that don't really um didn't really have a relationship like i think about them but my children might not think about them so um so i found a card for my great grandmother my um dad's grandmother so she's my great my mamma and I decided to print off a picture of her and my son when he was a newborn and stick that in there. And it was a Christmas card to my mother who has also passed. So anytime I have a chance to um, put anything of my mom in my journals, I, I love it. It, it. it really makes me happy and um, it helps, you know, the healing process of losing a loved one. For me anyways so so here's a picture of my daughter she was actually the only one that wanted to help decorate the tree my son who was 12 was just not interested and um, my five-year-old could not wait to decorate the tree and my oldest one my 17 year old she was working so she wasn't able to help, but we did leave a few things off for her to put on if she wanted. 
So yeah, so I'm just going through my pictures and I had this little scrap of vellum and um, this little illustration from a book. And so I decided to um, rip it and rip the illustration part out and try to use it. I didn't, I did not end up using the vellum though. I don't think anyways. So I do, I knew that I had a lot that I wanted to say. And if you can hear jingle bells, my cat is beside me and she's got a little bell on her collar. So I apologize for that. But, um... I knew I had a lot to say and because I wanted to talk about finding those cards and um, the way that it made me feel and you know just a lot to journal about so I was trying to find little spots that I could put um, down for me to write on and so I went through my stash and I dug out a bunch of like just ledger scraps and just trying to find something that I could use to write on and I went with that little Yahtzee piece, but I trimmed it down to, to fit on the side of that paper. And then I also um, have that other printable there too, of the little Christmas tree ribbon. So, and then I'm also using um, the dictionaries, papers as my dates, but also just a regular number as well. So yeah, so I'm just trying to piece that stuff together. How do I want it? And I finally get it squared away. So I'm hoping to knock out these December daily videos as fast as I can to get caught up. I couldn't believe that I had ran out of ink, or at least I thought I had ran out of ink. I'm on an ink subscription plan, and I couldn't, I was like, I knew I had done a whole bunch of printing, and I couldn't believe that I was out, so I called the company, and I was like, can you please send me more? And they're like, you should have one, and I was like, oh, well, I can't find it. So they sent it to me, and the day that I got it, I found the other ink. I could not believe it. I was like, that's just my luck. So um, I finished up that and I decided to go ahead and throw a little something in this tag. And I'm not even sure what this is. It kind of reminds me of um, like a crocheted material, but it's stretchy. So I I'm, I'm, honestly have no idea. And um, I'm not going with any particular colors. I'm just kind of just using whatever I have. It's just going to be a hodgepodge mix match. Just, you know whatever I have and if I like it I'm I'm gonna go for it and um, I'm excited about doing it that way I I like the fact that I'm not restricted to just like a certain color theme or um, designer because there's all different styles and designs in the papers that I use to create the journal so um, I think I'm going to enjoy it. I know some people, they probably prefer to have it all be cohesive, but I'm just kind of um, free burden it this December, I guess. So I am doing my journaling, just talking about the tree and um, how my five-year-old got onto us because we hadn't put our Christmas decorations up and... We didn't put any up for Halloween, so she was reminding us of that and how we had to get Christmas, so we we were doing Christmas. And um, I decided that I wanted to just write about that picture, and um, so I just stamped a little label, which I kind of wish I would have done it in black, but that's okay. It's fine. Usually when we get our tree, um, previous years, we always go with my uh, one of my brothers and his wife and family. And this year, they got their tree this early when we normally get it, but we couldn't. So we weren't able to go with them this year, which was a little, a little sad because it's kind of a tradition. But um, I was just writing about how my son asked if they were going to be there with us. 
and um, that I was happy that he asked because it means he remembers previous Christmases so um, so yeah just doing more journaling more writing and I think that that's that pretty much does it I hope that y'all enjoyed this um, video and if you like it please uh, leave a comment and a thumbs up and y'all have a blessed day and I will see you for December 3rd soon hopefully thanks for watching